Hey guys, it's me Matthew, of course of course, and in this video, I am back with some Star Citizen. As far as I know, they have completely wiped everything. That or I logged into the wrong account and somehow got this far, but I'm 90% sure I logged onto the right account. Let's see here, so I was not aware that they would be doing a wipe yet, but uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, hopefully they're getting closer to the point where they will not have to wipe the servers anymore and they can fix that, which is very uh, immersion breaking, I must say. I mean, they try really hard to make this game immersive, but uh, they can't make their own NPCs sit down on their couches. So, yeah, that's a, that is a hurdle that they have to get over <laughs> at some point. One thing that I have noticed with Star Citizen and Robert Space Industries is they don't really um, work out the bugs as much as they should, which is a damn shame. Wait, am I at the landing pad area? No, I didn't think so. Turn that on volume even more. Uh, let's see here, it's over here, yep, right here. Let's see. And, oh, I still have the Freelancer, which, um, I don't know how long they're going to keep that uh, on our accounts for. I'm going to retrieve my origin, though. I honestly have no idea what I'm going to be doing here. I just, uh, decided to play the game. Uh, I had to remake my character, but it doesn't seem like much else was reset, unless that's the only thing that, uh, I guess I need to look a little bit more. Whoa, what? Oh, I, I think I read that as 100,000, not as 10,000. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't have anything, so it has been wiped. Um, I wonder how many bugs they have fixed and how many they still have in this. Um, but after my last Star Citizen video, I kind of got burnt out because, I mean, there's no reason to play it until they finish it. I enjoy it. I think it's... Uh, well made in the areas where it actually functions, which is far too few for a game that uh, has promised so much and has taken up so much more time than they initially planned, um, among many other things. The game is definitely pretty, and oftentimes it is smooth. But there are still, there's, there's still a lot to iron out in this game. But I think that's all I really need to say. So I'm going to shut up about all that. And see if I remember how to fly. Did I, uh, there we go. Now, for some reason, I chose Grim Hex. I'm not exactly sure why. Whoa. That roll is, uh, quite strong. Now, what do I do? <laughs> that is the biggest question here. Let's see, 
contract manager. That is a lot of deliveries. Um, 6,000. Um, picked up at Tramon Myers Mining on Selen. Picked up at the R&R &R Crew L4 to be delivered to Humboldt Mines on Lyria. I own North Admin Office in Area 18. Yeah, I don't want to go to Area 18. Area 48 on Walla. R Corp, no thank you. Wait. Okay. Oh, well, that one's not terrible. Trevor Myers mining on the Cullen's shipment to a uh, mooning facility. Mooning mining facility. Shupin mining facility. Oh, looks like it was taken. Um. Oh, I'll go with this one. Why not? Well, let's see if I remember how to do any of this. No, I don't. Okay, B is spooling. F2 is this map. Yeah. Now, where do I have to go? Probably should have taken the Freelancer, but uh, considering these are small Amazon pickup missions, then it's not too big of a deal. But yeah, I'll set a route just to the generic spot. And down here oh wait it's B right yeah there we go being moved around strangely but for the most part it's functioning still <laughs> that weird little hologram map on the dashboard still uh, gets pushed down for some reason. Which is uh, strange and I'm being pulled out of hyperspace. Oh, fuck. I don't remember what buttons do what. Okay, shift is the afterburner. Now I am moving very fast. I honestly don't remember All of the controls, okay, so V stops the um, inertia dampeners. I don't care about fuel too much right now. Hopefully I won't get pulled out of hyperspace again so fucking quickly too. Let's see, how much? Quantum fuel do I have? Okay, I have enough for this. Well, at least for the first part. I should be able to do another jump after this, depending on how far away it is. Um, I think I have to go. Where did, where do I have to go? <laughs> I don't remember. Are these? No, this is the accepted one. To humble minds on Lyria. Where is Lyria? Yella, Daymar, Selen. Mining, mining, mining. That doesn't. I don't remember. Oh, Delamar, never mind. Hmm. Uh, 
Is it a Hearst and Moon? Nope. Yeah, Lyria. There we go. So I'm going to have to go to Arcorp after this. Thankfully, I don't have to land on Arcorp or get too close, but... Oh, boy. This is definitely the most disappointing parts of this game. I understand it's trying to be realistic to some extent, but uh, I feel like if you're traveling, I, I don't know. I don't know how to describe how I feel about how quantum jumping works in this, but I really don't like it. <laughs> that's that's the best summary, and especially since I'm on such a small ship, I have absolutely nothing to do. If I was transporting someone or something important, you know, like it'd just be me and whoever else is in my ship, bored out of our minds waiting to get to the destination in a video game. That's poor design, in my opinion. Although I do shit on games a lot, um, and all of their flaws and stuff like that. I don't usually give credit where credit is due um, as much as I should. Sometimes I do, but usually I don't. This game, they definitely have a lot of quality art, that's for sure. Uh, the art team in this is amazing. Everything is beautiful, crisp, and considering my system, it runs surprisingly well. I'm glad that they changed their stance on optimization. Um, their previous stance of being against optimizing because it's supposed to be a new age game that requires the best stuff was so stupid, and it made no sense, and I'm glad that... Uh, Whoever was in charge of that decision saw through the stupidity of it. Um, but yeah. Just waiting. Almost. still pretty far away. I'm guessing I can't jump there. Can I? Oh, it looks like I can. Beautiful. Mm, that's better. Probably put a speed limit on this. 430 seems alright. Uh, maybe a little bit higher just to get there. Yeah. Fuck okay. it. And. Probably start slowing down when I get to 10 kilometers away or so. from the facility. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Um, let's see. Gotta make sure I remember to um, do 
Keeps the calm ring. Yeah, looks like I'm over there. Oh, okay. Remember the landing gear button. Those tilts need to be a little bit uh, slower. It's a little too sensitive, but what's the button to go third person? I honestly don't remember, but well. I landed successfully, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> I didn't look at what pad I'm on. Is there a number here? I'm not seeing a number. Why? The fuck? Okay. Well, I guess I didn't wait, so there we go. Oh boy. They reworked this ship and they still can't make it function properly. Um, I know I complain a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's just so much in this world to complain about. I can't help myself. Uh, there has to be some kind of identifying marker as to where I am parked. Is there like a big number that I'm just not seeing? I don't know if there is a B or P landing pad. I think it's all numbers. But I guess I'll find out. Now the long trek to the lobby while sitting in the elevator. That was a lot of lag. Jesus. I'm watching other people come by with packages. What is this death stranding? I want it to be so much more than what it is right now. Which is why I've supported it so far. You goddamn motherfucking what? What is this Morpheus 2 guy going on about? Some people get a little too worked up about certain things in video games especially. It's like I can complain. I don't have to uh, have a mental breakdown over it. I think I go up here. And I believe it will tell me. Will it tell me where it is? No, it will not. Um, I could. I'm going to switch to the freelancer. It just makes more sense because the cargo bay on the uh, 300 I does not work. None of the 300 series actually functions. Pad six. Here we go. OK, 
Okay, perfect. Oh boy, that is one chonker right there. I wish I actually owned one, but $150 on a game that is far from complete. With a hand on a ship that has a door that will kill you if you step on it wrong. I don't know. That's not something uh, I can say I'm invested in enough. Perfect. I believe this is the pilot seat because America. Now, where is everything? Flight ready. They really need to fix the heads up display as well. There's an endless list of things that they need to fix. Will it just let me spool there? Hell yeah. Well, that's an improvement. I don't know if that was added or if that was always there, but either way. And now to sit here and wait even longer than last time. Unfortunately, this is the main reason why I don't play this game anymore. Um, this is, well, not the main reason, but this is one of the main reasons. Um, the long travel times, the inconsistency in everything, the large amount of bugs, and the fact that all of the work that you do doesn't matter because it's all going to get scrapped anyways. Uh, all of that uh, combined to me not really giving a shit about the game. Um, but once it actually is released, not necessarily finished, but released, that's when I will uh, start investing time into this game if by that point I have time to invest in it, which uh, at the rate that I'm going doesn't look like I will, but hey, I can dream. I mean, I'll probably be retired by the time it's finished, so, you know, good, um, let's see, what's the retirement age? It'll probably be like 80 or 90 by the time I get the chance to retire. So, a good 70 years from now, I can probably invest a lot of time in this game. And the retirement home. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I am open to suggestions, recommendations, requests of any games that you would like to see more of. Um, or if it's a game that I've never uploaded before, or you can't find videos of, etc, etc, or etc, et I don't fucking know, ETC, ETC, there we go, um, but, yeah, I'll, I'll play and record almost anything, so long as it's not only allowed on YouTube, but I don't already hate it, um, Usually anything made by Valve is not something I'd be interested in. And if it's a brand new game that costs a lot of money, can't promise anything. But uh, if it's single player, I can definitely play it. <laughs> I imply nothing, and I plead the fifth. But, uh, yeah... I know one game, there's one game that I wanted to start playing and 
Albion online and see what it's like. I've heard a lot of bad things about it, but I have heard some good things. A lot of the bad really involves the monetary side of the game. Um, that it's overpriced, that the subscription fee is, uh, it doesn't make sense, which I have to agree pretty much 99% of the time. If a game has a subscription fee, I'm not going to play it, you know, simple as that. As a kid, I played World of Warcraft, and I feel bad for my parents <laughs> for how much money I ended up charging them with all that crap, but, uh, now, like, holy shit, not only did they not need the money, but, uh, $15 a month for that piece of crap? No, thank you. Okay, why is the, there we go, stopped. Will it let me go to the other side? Yes, it will. This is obstructed, but... No, it's not going to let me. Oh, there we go. And I press C. Oopsie. Um, three. To get a better view. Let's see, is it still, is it still obstructed? Did I just get into a worse position? I would not be surprised. Jeez, where am I looking? What am I looking for right now? Oh, there we go. And it's not gonna... isn't too uh, dry and raspy in this video. I've been trying to drink a lot of water lately, but it doesn't seem to be helping. Definitely needs a lot more trips to the bathroom more than anything else. It's the only noticeable effect so far. Let me spill up. There we go. I know I want to go back to RimWorld and try to continue where I left off. And, uh, probably Minecraft as well, a little bit. I honestly had no intention of recording more. <laughs> I just felt like playing Minecraft because I didn't know what else to record, and, uh, I mean, no one was requesting anything, so I was free to make terrible decisions on my own. And this is not a situation I should be put in. Okay, I should probably be slowing down already, but I don't want to. does, but it is something. What is wrong with my voice all of a sudden? Jesus. Very sorry. Oh, 
might have been able to park closer, but this is fine. I think I might be trying to talk a little too softly. I don't know. I might be a little sick as well. I'm not sure. All I know is that I'm not enjoying it. So I have a feeling y'all might not enjoy it either. Let's see if this counts. I got, yep, I got paid. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Okay. Well, that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video where I became an Amazon delivery driver um, for one package using a ship that's way too big and expensive for what it's doing, for what I used it for, um, and I complained the entire time. I hope it was enjoyable, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>